this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to look at a controversial topic, picks. Now, there are a few things in the bass community that will get people all worked up. How many strings your bass has, and if you play with the pick or not. And it all kind of comes back around to how do you get your sound. So I believe there's no right way or wrong way. You do what you got to do to get the sound that you're looking for. So when the nice people from Acoustic Attack sent me some new picks to sample, I wanted to kind of do a comparative side-by-side -side approach to checking out how does a pick affect your sound. So let's take a closer look at these attack picks along with the others. Let's take a look at the attack picks from Acoustic Attack. To start out with, you'll see that they are red and are made of a durable nylon. There are two configurations. One is the attack, one is the ambush. Both of them have geometric designs, protuberances, if you will, that is how you can tell the difference between one or the other. The attack has something that looks like leaning pyramids and the ambush has a series of small wedges or jump ramp looking kind of things. And where you hold it, the company logo has grooves and a texture that helps you hold on to these in case you're sweating under the lights. Now, these raised formations were calculated mathematically. They were designed to give you a pattern of multiple strikes each time you hit with a pick. And the idea is that is meant to generate different pulse waves along the string and to give you more complexity and kind of superimpose the waves in a fashion that is different compared to flat tip picks. So the idea here is to get sound enhancement, improve the good harmonics and get rid of the bad harmonics and give you a percussive effect as well. It is what happens when we apply science to sound. The end game is to get a different sound without having to have specific expensive gear to do so. Now in comparison we are going to use some standard picks that I've been picking up along the way. I've got a variety of ones from Fender and Boss and they're kind of I'm gonna say in a medium stiffness and then I've got one very nice borosilicate glass pick that Rosemary Piero out of Kauai made at her shop the glass guitar pick. Each one of these because of the different flexibility and the lack of the formations it's just to give you an idea what you're using might sound like in comparison to the attack picks. Before we sample, let's take a look at my sound chain. I'm going to start out with my passive Fernandez 4 string. It has DR flat wounds on it. From there, I go to my drummer, who is my Beat Buddy Mini from Singular Sound. From there, through Astrope cable into my DNA amplification. And from there, going direct to your camera, so you won't hear me talking. I want to give you just the sound. Do remember that I'm not auditioning for your band. I want you to just hear the sound, so I'm going to just keep it simple. I'm going to do the licks, try the different picks so you can see the differences in the sounds, and that'll give you a good idea how these things work.
Well, there you have it. The attack picks, the attack and the ambush, have some very distinctive sounds. They tend to kind of grab the strings and it gives you that sharp staccato kind of sound that might be what you're looking for. The borosilicate glass pick from Rosemary Piero, that has a nice kind of dullish sound. It is a lot more rigid, but it is its own kind of sound. And then the other three picks that I use, kind of the just plain plastic ones, that's the sound that you're probably used to, but I did want to have those so you'd have kind of something to compare with, with the attack picks, the borosilicate glass pick, and your regular picks. We've really focused today on acoustic attacks, picks coming to you live on Bass Musician Magazine. Mm -hmm.